<laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, so like you said, uh, we, we haven't really got started yet. We, we get started tonight, and uh, so I don't have a whole lot to add from last week. Um, New Kirk, just a little bit about them. Uh, they graduated one off of last year's team, their best guard, uh, similar to us. We graduated our best guard. Um, they were mostly sophomores um, last year, so a young team, got better as the year went on. Uh, played Chisholm uh, pretty close in the regional uh, game last year, so they got better and better as the year went on. Uh, played us tough twice last year. Uh, at our place, we we kind of put it to them a little bit, but we played them two days later in the NOC tournament last year, and, and they had us down 18 to 15 at half. So they're a capable team. Um, they got a really good post player. She's about I don't know 5'11". She might be six foot. Um, but uh, Tasha was talking to me saying she was going to go watch her uh, next Friday. Not going to watch her tonight. I don't know what that's about, but. Um, uh, so on her radar, she's a good player. She, uh, what I've been telling the girls is that she's not physically imposing, but she's a scorer. When she gets the basketball, she finds a way to put the ball in the hole, and, and that goes a long way in girls' basketball. You can look the part, but if you can't put it in the hole, uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of good. So um, really good hands, good feet, post up hard. Uh, so she'll be a good challenge for us. Uh, she had, I think, 12 and 13 on us last year in the two games, or maybe it's 13 and 14. So their best player by far, we're going to, Try to cause her some problems tonight. We didn't really help on her last year. We're gonna we're gonna bring a little more help this year. We're gonna double down and, and see if we can't make some of those guards hit shots for them. But keys for us tonight are just staying the, uh, out of foul trouble. Uh, they're a dribble drive team with their guards, and they're gonna put pressure on us. And we're big, uh, and uh, a little bit of a matchup problem guard them wise. So uh, we're gonna play a little softer man than what I like to play. But that's that's not how we're gonna play for the rest of the year. It's just. Uh, matchup issue for us tonight. They got four athletic guards and, and we're going to be a little bigger and slower tonight than what I want to be. So um, if we can guard without fouling and, and rebound and and then obviously it's going to be a year long battle for us if we can handle pressure when, when people pick us up and press us or, or even in the half court and trap us. Uh, <coughs> if we can handle that we'll be fine. Um, so um, other than that I, I like our chances. I, I think we've Found some things in their zone that we can attack. We've we've looked good in practice doing it. If we can carry that over, we'll, we'll be all right. But uh, like I say, it, you just never know till you get in the game what, what you're going to get. It's a new bunch. Uh, we got four starters coming back, and it feels like a completely different team to me. Um, losing Jaden, uh, she uh, she was a big part of what we did, and, and I think everybody around here knows that. But um, we're gonna we're gonna fill that by committee, and, and hopefully have have a few girls step up. Other than that, it's just time to go play. Yeah. Not exactly. No, Whitney's probably 80% um, coming off her Achilles injury. Uh, I think I told you last week, Julie Holland tore ACL. We did get confirmation of that. MCL uh, was sprained. Uh, meniscus was torn. So uh, not not a good deal for her. But uh, she'll be she'll get surgery. I don't I don't think she's got that scheduled just yet. But uh, Get that taken care of, and she'll be be back for next year. But uh, she's a junior this year, so um, other than that, Jordan's always going to have little issues. Uh, Jordan Cheever, um, but I think other than Whitney not being quite at one hundred percent, I think we're we're going to be all right. Uh, tonight we're going to play at six thirty and eight for the varsity. Well, JV at four and five, and varsity will follow at six thirty and eight. So. No JV on Saturday, I don't think. So Friday night against Blackwell, we'll have JV at 4 and 5 as well here. But uh, Saturday, there'll be no JV games. Tonkawa. Uh, 